Man is going viral for cutting his homeboys off for not checking on him. So long story short, I'm not going to read the entire thing, but basically he was in the hospital for surgery and they never checked on him. I've never had this exact thing happen to me, but I've definitely had situations where it's very clear that I'm more invested in the friendship. I wouldn't even call these friendships, maybe attempted friendships. I was more invested than the other person. Like, I sent you a text two days ago inviting you somewhere and you just not respond. Like, Brody, that event was yesterday. (laughs) Or I'm always the one reaching out. Things like that, like that happens a few times. I'm just going to assume you're not interested and I'm not going to block you for something that small, but for sure you're going to get removed from my contacts. I've seen this and while I did feel sorry for the young man, I wanted to say to him, how high have you been putting them in your life? And when I say how high, I mean, did you put them above women who cared about you? Sisters who cared about you? Moms who cared about you? Family who cared about you? Because then your boys. Then your boys. Y'all stick together. Y'all do everything together. I, I used to go ride slingshots with my babies. I can't believe he didn't check on my back surgery. You want a whole grown man to check on your back surgery at this big age? You need a significant other. Whichever way that go. Whichever way that go. Because love is love. But the, the type of care, compassion, and concern that you're looking for out of your homeboys. Boy, you're going to find that in a woman. And I ain't even a man. I just know you ain't gonna find that in nothing else but a woman. You want somebody to be all caring about you. Is your back okay? Are you taking your medicine? <laughs> Did you get your prescription filled? You all right? Okay, because I'm here for you. Men are not gonna do that. They gotta get up and go to work in the morning. Hell no. Your woman, now she would be concerned. Man is going viral for cutting his homeboys off for not checking on him after his back surgery. Hey, you ain't wrong for that, homie. You is not going, you is not wrong for that. Where's the loyalty? Where is the loyalty? Everybody that called in, call your, call themselves your homeboy, homegirl, all of them need to be cut off from not checking on you. Because if they were so cool with you as they mouth said they were, then they'd have been checking on you. And nine times out of ten, they showed you signs that they weren't really your partner before you had back surgery. You were blinded to those signs. You know what I mean? You were blind to those signs. You know what I mean? But that's a good thing he blocked every last one of them. That's what's up. That's what's up. Where's the loyalty nowadays? Y'all tell me how y'all feel about that. Hey everyone, it's Brie. Welcome back to my channel. I'm back another video. First off, I want to thank everybody for the kind words on my last video. If you guys didn't see, you know, I made a very vulnerable and transparent video where I just talked about why I hadn't been posting on this channel and some of the battles that I've had just, you know, with life being life and, you know, with some of my mental health issues and how that's affected my ability to really film and be consistent. Um, but I am starting to feel just a tad a tad bit better and so I figured that I would take this opportunity to finally start filming again on a more consistent basis and so yeah I am here today to talk about this conversation that was going on on Twitter that just really had me perplexed and so I wanted to bring it to the channel so essentially for those of y'all who may not be you know on Twitter or maybe didn't come across the story essentially there was this guy who recently had surgery and he basically made a tweet saying that you know in the midst of him having surgery none of his homeboys checked on him none of his homeboys checked on him no one you know was was seeing you know if he was okay if surgery went well no one checked on him no one saw how he was doing and so he ended up cutting all of them off and for some reason this tweet led into a really large discussion about how he handled that situation and and it was really 
interesting to see how people took the situation that happened to him like clearly clearly he's not in the wrong because he was the one that went through the surgery but people were judging him one for making the tweet in the first place but also because he cut his friends off and people were literally calling him sassy they were literally calling him sassy and saying that he was acting like a woman saying that he was acting feminine because he chose to cut off his friends and so i really wanted to hop on camera and talk about this because you know this whole situation just rubbed me the wrong way people's responses to this rubbed me the wrong way and so i wanted to hop on camera and you know talk about it and also i'm gonna be trying out a new format for these type of videos where i'm covering um twitter topics or basically i'm going to be showing the tweet on screen and i'm going to be commentating as i go just because it'll be a little bit more easier for me to kind of hop in there see what people are talking about and it's also less uh editing on my part because i could just sh show the tweets on screen in real time and read through them with you guys as opposed to me you know trying to find the tweets after the fact having a um screenshot and then cut out the tweet and then put it on a background and then upload it and then do all of that so let me know if you guys um you know once i transition to the tweet let me know if you guys actually like that style a little bit more than when i would just show the tweets on screen but yeah we're gonna hop into this tweet okay so i have the tweet pulled up right here so basically this guy came on twitter and he said i just blocked indebted friendships with four of my homeboys i had back surgery literally a whole month ago and now one of them checked on your boy i ain't say shit i just blocked and let it be what it is they wasn't my real friend so he said this right and i i agreed right if you are going you know going under and you're having surgery especially back surgery that ain't no joke because i can imagine after back surgery like you probably need help getting around and you know it probably takes you a minute to like kind of like readjust and you probably you know you need a lot of help after that i would i would presume so and you know i would assume too that because he you know put in quotations that this was these were his homeboys these are probably people that he was really close to and people that he would expect to check on him and so he saw that you know they didn't and he took that as a sign that they don't really care about him like that and he he cut them off you know i saw nothing wrong with this right but a lot of people had a lot of things to say right now obviously most people who have you know a heart and empathy you know resonated with this right you know you have someone that said you did the right thing you know someone said i want this person said i want to believe you already told them about the surgery before you got it done if yes then i support you on this surgery is something serious and they should definitely have checked back and that's what i'm saying like and I, I just don't know what it is like it's just nowadays people are really weird <laughs> like folks don't want to check on nobody they don't want to reach out and i'll even briefly speak for myself right so for me um i never had like major surgery or anything like that but i did have an incident back in like 2023 where i had got really really sick and i had an allergic reaction and so i I had to rush to emergency care and it literally was something that I had like shared with the people that were closest to me at that time and to see how hardly anybody checked on me was really hurtful because I'm just like I'm literally in emergency care I'm like not okay you don't know if I'm going to be okay and you don't check to see you know if I'm all right like ask me how I'm doing you know send well wishes like I hope everything you know ends up being okay i hope everything is all right and it really does make you question like people like that like who literally see that you're in the hospital or you let them know in advance that hey like i'm going to the hospital i'm having an emergency and to not show any concern at all and at least let them know that you're thinking about them that you're concerned you know i hope everything goes well to me it's hard to look past something like that because what if something devastating really happens to me then what like you know it makes you feel like the people that are closest to you don't care 
about you. And I don't know if it's just something that's gotten worse with the pandemic and everyone's just become very desensitized. I just feel like people move very differently. Like especially in these past couple of years, people just move very differently. People aren't checking up on folks no more. Like there's no sense of community. I've seen this conversation take place a lot in, again, the past couple of years where that sense of community just feels like it's lost. Like people just, people don't show up for each other anymore. And it's really hard because for me, it's just a concept that I don't get because I just, I don't operate that way so for me it i have a hard time in my brain understanding like if you have someone in your life that you really care about that you're really close to and that you have a bond with why would you not reach out to see if they're okay why would you not you know offer to help them if they need help if you're able to help them you know because for me it's just like you know it's a no-brainer like even people who i don't know like that people who i may only know through social media if they got something going on or again if they go online and say hey like i had to be rushed to the emergency room i could not like i could not know who you are at all we could have exchanged words once i'm gonna still send you well wishes i must still you know show that you know like that i care and it's just for for me as someone that doesn't mind doing that for strangers i just can't imagine that when you have actual people in your life that are going through something whether it's a physical health issue or a mental health issue how do you not as a friend and as a close friend show up and check on your people like i just don't understand that and i feel like it's become more and more normalized to not show up for people like all this talk about low maintenance friendships it's just i need to make a whole nother video about that because even that whole concept i feel like it's just it's people's excuse to be lazy and to not show up for people but then people want people to show up for them but they don't want to show up for other people i just don't understand that logic so going back to the tweet right so most most people were on his side right then you got the weirdos in the comment section you got this dude right here that's saying sounds like something a woman would do so that's probably why they didn't fuck with you and then the original person that wrote the tweet said if that's how you look at it that's how you look at it that is your opinion and i'm not here to argue with you i just know what i don't tolerate and will not tolerate from my circle and period again i don't understand how this is him acting like a woman if you have people in your life i don't care what gender you are if you got folks in your life that you are close to and that you value and that you have a bond with i don't see anything wrong with having your boundaries and having your standards i think the same way women have standards and boundaries in their friendships and they have certain things that they look for in friends and they have certain things that they won't tolerate in their friendships i think men should have that same mentality like why would you allow your homeboy to treat you any kind of way i don't see how that's acting like a woman then you had someone else that said you told them you were going in for surgery and they were in town and he responded the whole circle knew i was getting surgery prior to my surgery and the day of just in case anything happened everybody was made aware my six bros and my three female friends so this is actually this isn't even just his male friends this is both his male friends and his female friends everybody that he had in his circle didn't check on him and apparently they were also all in town so they could have literally like pulled up on him to see if he was okay you know maybe bring us some food like just something and it's just so sad because i'm seeing again i see these stories all the time about people who just have these really crappy friends and i get it everybody has had that happen to them people have had you know moments of dealing with crappy friends and you know having a clean house you know having to start from scratch but it's just really sad to see and again i don't blame him at all for cutting them off because i'm sorry if you're not even willing to check up on me when i got surgery you don't deserve to have access to me to be a part of any else anything else i got going on like no you're not gonna be invited to my birthday parties no you're not going to be included in any major milestones that i have because if you're not going to support me while i'm at my lowest why would i continue to have you around and if you're not gonna check on me after i had surgery i'm damn sure not going to you know check up on you because clearly you have shown that you don't care about me you don't 
don't care about my health. So why, why would I even want somebody like that in my circle? Then you had this person who said, so you didn't have a conversation with them and blocked them like a girl. Do you know what they are going through? Your friends could be dealing with life too. And then he responded, LOL, we all going through stuff. I checked on them, but not once did they ask me how I was doing since my surgery. My other two bros did, but those four didn't. You cut them out and replaced them. And period, again, why is blocking somebody seen as women behavior or female behavior? Like, again, if he ain't fucking with them, yeah, block them, remove them. Like, why does he continue to need to have access to those people if he's done with them? And to say, oh, do you know what they are going through? I hate this cop out. I'm sorry. Because to his point, and I, I want to speak on this as well. To his point, everybody is going through something, okay? I get sick and tired of people using that excuse of, you know, oh, I'm just going through it. I have a lot going on. I understand that, yes, sometimes life can be overwhelming and you kind of want to just take a breath, take a breather, and take a step back from talking to anybody, from, you know, being on social. I get it. You know, some people, they have so many things going on and they're super busy that they can't necessarily sit down and, you know, text back or call back. I get it to a certain degree. But at the end of the day, everybody is going through it. It's been more prevalent, especially past uh, post-pandemic, that everybody is out here struggling financially, emotionally. Everybody is going through it. Everybody got something going on. Whether it's something with them, whether it's something, you know, in their family. Everyone got stuff going on. Everyone has a lot of stuff. But that shouldn't be an excuse to not be there and show up for people. Again, I've spoken time and time again about, you know, how much I've battled and struggled with mental health issues. But when I tell you anytime that anybody needs me to sit on the phone and listen to them vent and, you know, give advice or whatever they need, you know, whatever capacity that they need me in, you know, when they're going through a low moment, I always make myself available. Even if I can't talk right then and there, I literally stay up late, you know, like I, I would do my best to make time for the people that I care about. But I feel like a lot of people just don't operate that way and they're not willing to do that for the people that they care about. And then when they get cut off, they're sitting up there all confused, like, oh my God, what happened? Like they just stopped talking to me out of nowhere. And it's like, no, like you showed your true colors and now they don't want to mess with you anymore. And again, cutting somebody off, blocking somebody, that's not female male behavior that's not acting like a woman acting like a girl like if anything I think that makes him more real the fact that you know he's like look like I don't want these type of people that aren't gonna check on me in my life and so why would I continue to have them in my life and again you going like you having your own stuff going on it takes two seconds to send, to send a text and I will say that until I am blue in the face it takes two seconds to send a text it takes two seconds to check on somebody now obviously if you're going into you know a uh, larger conversations right of what that person might be going through sure you may not have the capacity to take on you know them dumping you know what they got going on on you and I, I completely understand that but even just a simple like you know hey like I haven't heard from you in a while I hope you're doing okay you know I've had a lot going on myself but I just wanted to reach out let you know I've been thinking about you you and you know maybe we can set up some time to chat you know when we're both free like just letting people know that you give a damn like I don't think it's a hard thing to do I don't think it's a hard concept but people make up so many excuses to be shitty friends to people but then again these are the same people that want folks to show up for them but then it's like if you're not willing to do that for other people then you shouldn't expect people to do that for you plain and simple again another person said damn what if they had something going on themselves this is why it's important to communicate first again I understand people going through stuff but if someone is having surgery you could send a text message at least saying hey I hope the surgery went well I hope you're resting it it is <laughs> I don't feel like it's rocket science y'all like I'm really sitting here trying to think of what could be the thing that they're going through that makes it to where they can't send a text message checking on somebody like I just don't I don't get it and again this was six 
people or four people or however many it was like you didn't tell me all of those people had just so much going on that no one could you know check up check up on him and see how he was doing i'm not buying that and look even right here he's saying i did everyone knew what was going on i knew what they had going on but only two of the six was still hitting me up to see how i was holding up and making sure i'm not doing anything to mess up my back while i'm healing the other four was out partying and i am not surprised because again people priorities be fucked up i'm sorry people's priorities be be messed up people will prioritize partying and doing the most and going out every single weekend but they forget to check up on their friends like the the, the priorities is just like is is messed up and it's like your friend is sitting here at home struggling with back pain and again th please don't misinterpret what i'm saying i'm not saying that you can't go out and have a good time because your friend is at home you know after surgery or sick i'm not saying that like just just because I have the flu doesn't mean that my friend can't go out and have a good time like that that's unreasonable right like I'm, I'm not saying that but you should at the very least like clearly you have the time I think that's what he was implying like clearly you have time to you know get ready and, and go out and have a good time with with you know with the friend group maybe or with whoever like y'all take time out to to party and do what you want to do but you can't find a couple minutes out your day to call to text to see how I'm doing like like, that just goes to show you that they don't prioritize him in the friend group and he peeped that and now he's like I don't want nothing to do with y'all anymore and yeah this person said it's so weird to see the different responses from women versus men in this thread which I'm not gonna hold you initially when this tweet first started taking off I did see that divide where the women were like oh good for you you know I'm glad that you stood up for yourself like you know I would have did the same thing but then you had a lot of the men who were like oh you're acting like a female you're acting than like a woman but even as i'm sitting here scrolling right you had two men who accused him of acting like a woman as well as a woman i believe i believe this is a woman right here yeah so you you have it on both sides and honestly i saw other men defending him as well and saying that he wasn't in the wrong for doing this so i don't think i know initially the tweet was definitely giving women versus men but i think all in all like there's people there's people on both sides from both both genders that you know have their opinions you had another person that said don't make permanent decisions based on temporary feelings if these weren't your closest friends give them some grace it's those closest to us that we have the highest expectations of and often we assume they know i wish you and your friendships a smooth recovery then he said i gave them a whole month since my back surgery nothing was temporary at this point this was a strategically thought out decision i cut them off again and i'm glad that he clarified this as well he's like i gave them an entire month to check on me and it was crickets and that's really how it would be like because people love again and i understand what this person is is saying because yes we we do tend to have higher expectations for those that are closest to us but is that not how it should be like yes obviously like those people are still human they can still make mistakes but yeah if you're someone that i consider to be the closest people to me absolutely the standard is different absolutely i expect you to check on me more than these strangers and that's that's the crazy part and i want to get into that as well like it is so crazy when like you're going through something or you're looking for support from people and you'll sit back and you notice that the people that you barely know people that are acquaintances people that you might have spoken to one time sometimes those people show up for you more than the folks that you know for real than the people that are closest to you i've even had that experience with shoot my clothing line right i have I've always had the hardest time getting the people closest to me to support my business ventures and it's always been extremely frustrating and it's hard to not take it personal because it's like you're always on social media you see my post being reposted on your story or on my story the least you could do is like a post granted i don't think it's hard to share you know maybe you can't think of something to comment cool i'm not even asking you to purchase anything all i am asking you to do is to engage with the post like the post share the post like you do these party flyers and whatever else is going on like you have the capabilities of showing up as supporting but you're actively choosing not to and then i see the type of stuff that you're supporting and it's like okay so why are you supporting you know this thing or this person but you don't want to support me someone that's supposed to be really close to you i just it's hard not 
not to take it personal, especially when you have that type of relationship and that type of bond with those people. Like, if you're someone that is close to me, yeah, I expect you to show up for me. I expect you to support me. I expect you to check up on me if I'm not doing well. Like, these are things that should be a given. These are things that people should want to do for the people that they care about. But unfortunately, there's just so many people nowadays that just aren't like that. And I, I don't know what it is is i know there's always been people like that since the beginning of time but again i feel like it's just gotten worse and worse and worse or people are just lacking empathy more people are just being very lazy in in their friendships they aren't showing up for people and again i get it everyone got stuff going on everyone is stressed out everyone life be life in okay life be life for everybody but that is not an excuse to not show up for your friends i'm sorry especially if you have proven that you can show up for other people that that's also where things get tricky like when you're picking and choosing who you want to show up for and who you want to support like yeah i'm gonna start looking at you sideways <sighs> all right i'm gonna do maybe one or two more um there were some other tweets though that i saw in relation to this that i do actually want to talk about but before i do because i just i just caught this one again this is from a woman i believe or a man sorry i saw the fur <laughs> i saw the fur and i presumed it was a woman this person said why you blocked them though you kind of gay again why does that make them gay why does that make them sassy because they have standards and boundaries for their friendships that's not a woman specific thing everybody should have boundaries everyone should have standards everybody should hold their friends accountable for how they treat them that's not gender specific at all so someone else said this doesn't even make Makes sense all they had to do after he texted them to check on how they were doing even though he had undergone a life-threatening procedure was a simple i heard you were discharged how's your back again agreed all you had to do was acknowledge acknowledge that the man was in surgery i don't get it yeah this person said two years ago i reshuffled my life and realized that i, had, I only had three friends if you can't check on check in on me during my low days to help with your friendship and yeah that's low-key the energy i've been on as of late like if you're not even bothering to check on me see how i'm doing support me you know like it's because i'm just uh and <laughs> maybe this is why too this uh whole conversation kind of hit close to home because i've low-key been having to reevaluate the people in my life and certain friends that i've had just based off of the lack of support i feel like i've been getting both with my mental health but also again with my business ventures and just who there's certain things <laughs> there's certain things that i want to say um i might make a membership only video talking about it because i really want to get it off my chest because i want to i want to feel like i'm not crazy because i've just been seeing certain things from certain people and i'm just like you sitting up here supporting certain individuals but then you can't show that same support for me giving what certain individuals did like it's just i don't get it bro like the way people move nowadays is just crazy so i've currently been in a state where i'm just kind of reevaluating certain friendships and you know i've just kind of been in the mode of kind of like distancing myself from certain people and you know kind of just moving not moving completely in silence per se but like i haven't really been active on social media like that i haven't really been talking to people much like i've kind of just been to myself lately because i've just i don't know there's just certain stuff that rubs me in the wrong way that i've seen from people recently this person talking about some who cares you can't you come alone you die alone be a man uh <laughs> the toxic masculinity of it all okay let me pull up these other tweets that i saw this person said men complain about not having support in community or anyone who cares about their mental health but whenever they are required to engage in behavior that builds community like check on their friends after surgery they get mad men were in his replies calling him gay for wanting friends who would show up for him male loneliness is self-inflicted um Honestly, I think that, again, I don't think it's just a men thing. I think women are also experiencing this as well. Like this whole loneliness epidemic, which that also might be another video that I talk about. Like people are, people are struggling and people are struggling to find a sense of community because everyone is just so divided and everyone just has this very individualistic mindset. No one wants to come together. No one wants to help each other out to do anything. And, you know, it's just really, really, really 
really sad to see. This person said, not checking on your dog after back surgery is absolutely some flaw shit. I wouldn't have tweeted about it though. And I think to each their own with that, right? I think people are allowed to have their own personal opinion about that. I know people have very different opinions about what should be shared online and what shouldn't be. And I think that that's a case by case, person by person, you know, uh, opinion and, and choice. If you're someone that likes to keep everything, you know, behind closed doors and in private and among the people that, you know, you're dealing with those issues with, I don't see anything wrong with that. But also if you feel like, you know, you kind of want to get some stuff off your chest, you know, that's your prerogative. I don't think that he uh, said anything too out of line or out of pocket. You know, he didn't name any names. He didn't share any screenshots because nowadays folks just be exposing their whole, you know, uh, text message thread on Twitter. So, you know, no one even knows who these people are. I'm sure they'll be able to continue and, you know, move forward with their lives without anyone attacking them or harassing them. But I do understand understand the sentiment that he he could have kept it off of social he could have but also it's his page it's his twitter um you know so he want he wanted to share that oh hold on y'all so as i'm looking at the quote retweets someone uh found some of his old tweets someone said whenever i feel the urge to feel sorry for a man on this app i quick quickly check his tweet history and boy never disappoints so this is my first time seeing this by the way i have never seen this so let me see uh right here it says i love and respect a woman that works for hers not hoe for hers by getting financed from simp ass men but actually work for hers whether a nine to five corporate government entrepreneur etc it could be any department just not hoeing uh only fan sponsor or sugar daddy etc then he said no i'm saying in the house ain't shit outside but hoes and death I, okay i <laughs> i peeped that i guess uh this person that looked up his old tweets i guess they put in his name and then they put the word ho i don't know <laughs> i don't know what prompted her to uh look that specific word up but i guess she came across some old tweets um let's see this is why i don't trust no woman that goes to jamaica single or not girl strip or not you go to jamaica without your man you a hoe damn he said whenever a female tells me that especially once on a dating app i know she just wants to be a serial hoe and to absolutely not take her serious at any point treat her how she wants to be treated pump and dump every time a black woman starts integrating with a white man she starts to look more and more like a neanderthal white woman losing all her essence the white vamp sucks it from you and converts you slowly but surely into his white woman concubine the black woman ceases to exist oh i didn't know who's on here saying all of this wait a minute see and that's that's the crazy thing about the internet bro like you go viral for anything people start digging up all your dirt all your dirty laundry man he out here calling women all kinds of hoes dang well look as i always say with these stories right i think there's a bigger conversation that is to be had you know even if he is you know an ain't shit dude right i think the messaging in this whole situation still stands that regardless if it was him or another random guy on the internet you know i still stand by what i say that men holding their friends accountable you know i don't think that's gender specific i don't think that makes him sassy i don't think him blocking them and removing them from his life is you know female behavior i think it's maturity i think that it's you know respecting yourself enough to to say hey this is not how i want to be treated these are not the type of people that i want in my life so i am going to make you know the best decision for me and cut these people off so i still stand by everything that i say even with these crazy tweets that he's making so yeah but anyway that is all for this video this video was supposed to be short every single time i make a video with the intention of it being short it ends up not being short i'm literally at like 40 minutes um we'll see how long it actually is once i edit this down but let me know if you guys you know enjoyed this new form or this new style of content i should say where you know we're kind of just going through trending tweets to see you know what people are saying and you know kind of hopping in the discussion let me know if you guys like this and i'll definitely do more of them i might do one or two more today you know just to get a feel of this new format i'm liking it so far so yeah let me know if you guys like the whole you know me bringing up a tweet on screen and then us just going through the comment section and me giving my commentary based on that and as always let me know what other topics you guys want me to talk about whether it's something that's trending on you know twitter instagram tiktok let me know what you guys want me to talk about in the comments and yeah 
yeah, I am really looking forward to getting back into filming on a more consistent schedule. Um, God willing, my mental health holds up and life doesn't get too overwhelming anytime soon that I'm actually able to get back to getting you guys consistent content. And um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys go ahead, give it a big thumbs up. And thank you guys so much for helping me reach 24K. I really, really appreciate it. So now we're on the road to 25 5k which would be a really big milestone for me and so you know make sure if you guys are watching this video and you are not subscribed please 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 subscribe and yeah i'll see you guys in the next video